Hello, Marnie Lynn here from Ebb and Flow Imagery's YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be able to share this video with you today. I want to take this opportunity to ask you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you know every time a new video is posted, and hit the like button. So let's sit back and enjoy the coloring. I have always been fascinated with the eyes, the irises, the pupils, the shape of the eye. And in my mind's eye, I am seeing lots of reptilian eyes and I thought I would take a time and draw this one, but because I made the mistake of having my hand on the picture as I was coloring it, and I had thought about putting a piece of blank paper under my hand. I erased off a lot of the the design that I wanted to put into it so it didn't turn out the way that I had intentionally planned but yet it is a good video. If you're watching my series of coloring book pages that I have been coloring and posting on YouTube you will see that I have several videos up with eyes and I get into lots of detail in the coloring as you'll see as I'm going along with this picture. I started out with a human shaped eye and as I progressed I turned it more into a reptoid eye and I call this one reptoid eye. What I did with this video too is I kept all the crayons that I used like I did in the last video of the other eye and I am going to as you see in the picture in picture all the colors that I used for this video but I'm sharing the process of picking out the colors as I am doing the video. I'm not going to do much talking on this video. I'm going to turn on some music and we're going to watch this sped up like it is right now and I will talk more closer to the end. Enjoy.
Here we are, we're almost at the end of the video. I'm just doing some final touches around the eye itself. I'm going to add some color to the background because I've decided that I'm going to make this look like a reptilian looking through a hole in a fence. So I want to draw the opening of the hole, which could be a knot hole because it's a wooden fence. And I'm trying to get the right reflection of the color with the reptoid looking through the hole to see what I am doing. It was a lot of fun doing this part. This whole video took me five hours to do. And in between takes, I would look at the editing and figure out what it was that I needed to do in the next step. The background itself, what I'm doing right now, took me over one hour. And you have to do a lot of coloring in every direction so that you cover up all the white spaces. Sometimes that can be quite a task. Lots of different angles, different pressures that I put on the paper. As you see, as I'm going around the circle of the hole, I am getting a little heavier with my color. It's starting to come together more. I'm glad I did the backgrounds of the butterfly or um, the hummingbird and the background of tulips because it helped me to understand how to do this faster. And they all have seemed to take at least an hour to do it because there's so much white to cover up. So I'd like to take this opportunity one more time to say subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification button so you know when a new video has been posted and I post one every week. And we will see you in the next video.